actually hosting with the World Bank in Washington, D.C., a, uh, a cyber summit, which is really focused on you know, the, the, the method and methods and techniques of looking at cyber crimes and cryptocurrencies and things like that. And we're going to be hosting uh, many other countries uh, that we've invited to that training. We've done a lot of work traveling around the world training uh, our counterparts on how to investigate those crimes. Um, cyber crimes and cryptocurrency is uh, probably next to data, analyt data analytics is something I, I talk extensively about. We put a lot of resources into, you know, investigating cyber crimes. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, I talk about the whenever there's a lack of lack of visibility and transparency into financial transactions, the risk of fraud goes up. Um, you know, what level of fraud we're going to see in cryptocurrency? I don't know. I can tell you that we have criminal cases out in the field now. Uh, we get a lot of information in about non-compliant taxpayers in that area. So, you know, we we are. Looking at it, we've trained our workforce. We've mandated that all of our agents do some basic cyber training. And um, you know, I, I can put it this way: I think it's similar to how international cases were a decade ago, where it was, you know, some cases had an international component, but you didn't see it in every case. Now it's it's rare to have a case that doesn't have some type of international component. And and the reason why I think this area is so important is I think it's not it's not going away. So I'm not saying that we're going to have case, that that it's going to be the sole part of a criminal tax case or a financial crime case, but I think more and more you're going to see cryptocurrency transactions and cyber elements to every one of the cases that we work. And I want to be in a position where our agents are you know suited and trained to be able to investigate these type of crimes. So we really, really are on the cutting edge of this. I mean, we we've, we've been involved with every major non-tax case. All the dark net, uh, dark web takedowns take had IRS special agents involved because the way you solve all of these crimes, whether it's tax or non-tax, is through following the money. And that's, you know, again, we're the only agency that do does that. So we put a lot of time and effort into that area. Um, data and technology, you, you know, every part of the service is, is working on this. I don't think there's a private or government entity that's not putting a lot of resources into this area. But we've uh, we've had a lot of success in CI. You know, we've got just an unbelievable amount of of rich data um, within the IRS, and you know, it, it would take the smartest group of agents and employees that I had, you know, years to make connections. You know, just by looking through terabytes of information that we have. So it's the combination of really strong analytical tools. Uh, with really smart people and